surgical site infections, or SSIs, are the most common healthcare-associated infections, substantially contributing to morbidity, healthcare costs, and death, especially in cases of complex surgeries for removal of ovarian and uterine cancers. Though the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services have instituted several guidelines to reduce SSIs, existing perioperative interventions alone are insufficient. Identifying the need for additional interventions, researchers sought to evaluate if the implementation of bundled interventions covering the entire course of surgery could reduce 30-day SSIs in high-risk gynecologic cancer surgeries. A multidisciplinary research team retrospectively identified 635 cases in three cohorts, open surgery for uterine cancer, ovarian cancer without bowel resection, and ovarian cancer with bowel resection between January 1, 2010 and December 31, 2012. These made up the pre-intervention baseline rates. The researchers prospectively implemented a perioperative bundle on 190 cases in the intervention period from August 1, 2013 to September 30, 2014. They used a similar bundle as reported recently for colorectal surgeries, where they included 15 interventions at preoperative, intraoperative, postoperative, and post-dismissal processes. The new interventions included sterile closing tray and staph glove change for fascia and skin closure, dressing removal at 24 to 48 hours, dismissal with 4% chlorhexidine gluconate, and follow-up nursing phone call. Several precautions were taken to ensure study rigor, such as random audits and blinded abstractors. Statistical analysis revealed that the bundled interventions reduced SSIs by 77.6% for cases of ovarian cancer with bowel resection, 79.3% for ovarian cancer without bowel resection, and by 100% for uterine cancer. The overall 30-day SSI rate decreased from 6% in the pre-intervention period to 1.1% in the intervention period. Among all gynecologic surgery cases performed at Mayo Clinic Rochester, the National Surgical Quality Improvement Program SSI ranking moved up from the 10th decile to the 1st, and risk-adjusted odds ratio for SSIs decreased from 1.6 to 0.6. This study shows clear benefits for using bundled interventions for reducing SSIs after ovarian and uterine cancer surgeries, and recommends the same for across other hospitals. Future studies could work with larger cohorts for the intervention period and perform a bundle cost-effectiveness analysis.